ore enkar tonkar nainei naa kajoki lakoyian saiguran asi ore irkeek naa kelako nkoni kipu ayaunye ikikedo ldonyo tidie likipu ayau irkeek ore kipu ayau irkeek ldonyo keeta shida ikia kulo keek naa kepuno nusu ore pilo ayirishore nekinosi empuruo Erke muryo kan suyo kumpuru ngonyek na kore gira yirishure ne gira keki ne kegira nyamalo ling aya kore beki ndip kore na ro loge ni sumba yoga na buryo kore mburu sumba yoki nyal simuryo kan in most kenyan rural settings firewood and paraffin are the predominant fuels of choice for cooking and lighting needs due to their low cost and the lack of available alternatives these energy sources are linked to serious health and development impacts. Families often suffer from lung diseases and eye ailments from smoke and indoor air pollution and can spend a large proportion of their monthly income on wood and paraffin. Women and children walk long distances every day in search of firewood. Wood supplies are also under serious pressure in many rural areas. The unsustainable use of wood fuel and charcoal also contribute towards environmental degradation and climate change through soil erosion and emission of greenhouse gases from deforestation. Nationally, if you look at Kenya, we have less than 2% uh, of our forest cover and um, there is need to increase tree planting activities for farmers, especially small-scale farmers, to practice agroforestry on their farms, to plant more trees so that uh, Trees are able to absorb the carbon dioxide that normally is very harmful to the ozone layer. Climate stress is a reality in Kenya and many rural communities are witness to this. Building the resilience of communities to climate through many of the social and economic benefits of clean and environment-friendly energy sources is more urgent than ever. <laughs> napika tu mzuri tena kama uko na haraka na kisha moto yako unaharakisha unaenda hizo vile unahakisha jiko unakaa kuongojea masaa naenda hiyo ndio amenisaidia sana mradi wa bao gas tulianza juzi juzi kitambo kidogo tulienda tukapata mafunzo ngruman na tukarudi tuka tukajiwekea biogas Mbeleni tulikuwa tunatumia kuni na tunaona kama kupata kuni siku hizi ni shida sababu msitu imekatwa na pia imeturahisisha mambo ya kupika Sisi tunatumia biogas tunaona kwamba tume safe a lot kwa sababu wale wananunua mafuta ya taa 98 per liter na utakuta basi kwa mwezi ume save 3000 shillings if you atuna expense ya kununua tena mafuta for years farmers in little known entasapia in the guruman area in a senior of kajiado county kenya have largely been unaware of the potential the waste from their cows and other livestock has in ensuring renewable safe cost effective and reliable cooking energy for their families Alin as an information exchange program uh, publishes information in uh, various formats and in the year 2010 we published an article in the Baobab magazine that carried an article on um, biogas digesters and communities within Gurman uh, area read about this information and they got interested in um, apply, trying to apply this information so that they can build their own biogas systems. Arid Lands Information Network, known as ALIN, introduced this alternative green energy conservation technology on a pilot basis in May 2010 to the residents of Entasopia and Isinia. I was mambo ya the gas, but I got the kutoka kwa Mariva Center. I was able to get the bus to the mafi I was able to get the mafi to the bus, I was able they have water all throughout the year and they have a lot of animal waste. So they thought it was an, an important factor to, it, it was an important project that they could also replicate here in Grumman. Yeah. 
Tubular Biogas Technology is a simple and affordable innovation. It recycles organic waste to generate gas for cooking and lighting. Biogas also has another uh, benefit for agriculture because uh, when uh, the, the process is made, what comes out, it's a slurry that is very rich in uh, improving uh, agricultural uh, production. Biogas is very safe because uh, yeah, it's very difficult to have a concentration that will lead to causing a fire or, or explosion. To install tubular biogas technology, it's important to select a site near the kitchen. A heavy gauge silage tubing digester measuring 10 meters by 3.2 meters is then placed in a V-shaped trench. Both the inlet and outlets are fixed by tying extra duty PVC pipes to the silage tubing. The next step is to fix the gas outlet at 1 meter from the inlet pipe and then make the connections from the digester to the kitchen using PVC pipes, gate valves, sockets, nipples and flexible tube for connecting to the specially fabricated biogas burner. Once the system is completely connected, 200 litres of cow dung are mixed with 200 litres of water and fed to the system via the inlet pipe. It takes about seven days for the anaerobic reaction to generate enough gas for cooking. The rise of the silage tube is an indicator that gas is generated. Unasa install, unasa kamali, wache uwazi, pengine mbusi sikanyange ama ngombe, na pengine italete madhara. Lakini ikize kwa mali mewekwa vizuri, nafikiri challenge ya kukanyangwa ama athari ya kukanyangwa itakuwa kuna. There are three types of biogas plants. Uh, there is the fixed dome type, which we are doing under the program. There is the tubular type, and then there is the floating drum type. In areas where the technology has been adopted, there has been a significant reduction in deforestation and families can boast of increased financial savings, some up to $30 per month. Women's workload, especially walking long distances to fetch firewood, has drastically reduced and additional energies are focused on other social, economic and income generating activities. More to it, they can now even afford time for a community cultural jig. The family is really happy and everyone is would like to go to the kitchen and cook, not like before when no one wants to go to the kitchen because of a lot of smoke and the uh, uh, dirtiness of the smoke suit and everything that you got you get in the, in the hands. The Kenyan government, key stakeholders as well as other communities can learn a lot from the success story of the Antasopia biogas project. We have designed a new program called Greening Kenya Initiative. The objective of the Greening Kenya Initiative is to create awareness, highlight the importance of the use of green energy resources and also green energy technologies and propagate green consumerism because most of these interventions which if taken at the higher level or at the top then they are not properly diffused at the bottom level then they do not get anchored in the society through its knowledge centers located across kenya uganda and tanzania Allen's vision is to ensure other communities that have access to the biogas production's ingredients can replicate this technology. In the long run, everyone will be helping in combating climate change by using this renewable, cost-effective and environmentally friendly green energy to cook and light their homes. <laughs> Here, 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 here